guys, Lewis here. I bet you're surprised to be seeing a video today. This is actually going to be a non-traditional video. Because it's, uh, to put it frankly, it's basically a Frankenstein of a video. It's going to be an announcement video, a vlog, a gameplay video, and a coke commentary with my buddy Jason. Say hi, Jason. Hello. <laughs> now, full full disclaimer: we've actually this is actually the second time we had to redo this because we did this yesterday. Um, what was the date yesterday? Uh, it was, it was the, it, yeah, it was the fifth. And so we had did this video, but all I got was the audio. The screen was completely black because Bandicam had unknown complications for whatever reason. And so we're just doing some XCOM Long War, my own little personal playthrough. And I'm going to be talking about various things that I'm doing for the channel, uh, as well as talking about Jason a little bit, and what he's been up to. Yeah, I suppose I could do that. Alright, so the first big news, and especially why there's a video today in the first place, is I am upping my video count by to four instead of three per week. So from now on, there's going to be four videos per week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I'm going to keep up four videos per week, or at least um, keep it up until I can't do it anymore, like I'm too busy with my job or something of that sort. So for now, four videos per week. Hope you guys will enjoy that. Uh, and for some, of, I have some newcomers, so some of you don't know who Jason is. So Jason, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, tell the viewers what you do. Oh yeah, what's up? Uh, my name's Jason. I kind of do co-op commentary on a lot of his videos. I uh, kind of made my own YouTube channel because of like diff many different like popular inspirations, like the Game Grumps, Markiplier, Lord Minion 777, and Yami Mask. Yeah, and man. along with my real life friends, well, quote unquote real life friends, because I've never actually met Lewis in person, <laughs> and um, people like Phoenix and Mike. Yep. Like, they've kind of, like, inspired me to do my own channel, even though I'm, like, super duper shy and kind of quiet and a little out, out there and reserved, and yeah, you get the point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all around, he's a shy guy, but he has a... He does quite a lot in his own time, he's been through a lot, and, you know, he's a really great guy, so... I will be leaving a link to Jason's uh, channel down in the description. Guys, if you can, I really would like for you to go over to Jason's channel, check him out, show him the same support you guys have shown me the last few years, because he's a really great guy, and his videos are really hilarious. Uh, I've actually been in uh, part of one of his series, uh, Mario 64, so definitely check those out. It'll be fun. Yeah, uh, Lewis has been going at it for about a year for his channel. I've only been going about three months, technically, mm -hmm. so like... Yeah, this is all relatively new to me, and I'm like, one sh subscriber shot, I have having 25 subscribers, so I'll be like, oh gosh, it's a milestone, I have to do something special. <laughs> but, um, as Lewis kind of mentioned his new upload schedule, my upload schedule, at least for now, like, because I don't know what my work schedule is going to be like yet, uh, I'm, I upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Mm -hmm. So three videos a week yeah uh, so speaking more about the channel itself while I'm multitasking and trying to play XCOM long war impossible mode um, uh, I will be talking about some of the current series as well as future series that will be happening on the channel as well as more collabs with Jason and a few other friends along the way and uh, I might mention a secret project that I've been working on for the last month but uh We'll see about that, if I remember. <laughs> anyway, so the first thing I would like to talk about is actually uh, my series, Thomas Was Alone. Thomas Was Alone, it's a fun game, it's a very nice little narrative about a rectangular AI and his little group of friend AIs. And uh, you guys should definitely check it out. I only have about uh, four episodes up at current, so as of now, there isn't that many... Um, Thomas was alone videos, but I am getting close to the end. I just gotta have the time to upload the rest of the videos uh, onto YouTube. Um, I always enjoy watching the fails. 
Yes, there's a lot of platforming fail. If you're the kind of person who cannot stand see someone fail at platformers, do not watch it. <laughs> oh, so in other words, when Mario 64 Part 6 comes out, don't watch that. <laughs> oh, more exalt. <laughs> That's great. Uh, yeah, so another series, uh, Darkest Dungeon. That has been recently updated with the Cove region update. I'm very excited about that because the Cove adds on a lot of new stuff. There's a lot of new content for the original region, so I'm very glad that that content is finally out. Um, so me and Micah have been doing some more Darkest Dungeon recordings. Well, I say we've been doing more. We've only recorded one more episode since the update, uh, but we plan on doing more very soon. And not to mention, we are on episode 9 as of currently, but episode 13 will be going up in two parts for this week. Uh, so with the four videos per week in mind here, I should be able to catch up on releasing my Darkest Dungeon videos for you guys. Uh, let's see, I'm going to have to run and gun here. Hunt him down. Yeah, so Darkest Dungeon, more of those are coming along the way. Guys, check it out if you want to see me rage against an RNG. Uh, RNG generator of a bastard of a game. <laughs> uh, and you know, it's it's similar to my XCOM uh, series. If you want your name in there, if we have an available slot, let me know. And Well, I'll try not to get you killed, but no promises. Dead and gone. Uh, let's see. Since we're actually playing XCOM, or XCOM Long War, I should say, I should bring up the topic of XCOM 2. So, as you guys know, XCOM, one of my most favorite games, as well as one of the first series I've done on my channel. Um, Position confirmed. I have a lot of great times with it, and I cannot wait for XCOM 2, because... Well, XCOM 2, I can't really say much more than that, because XCOM 2. Hype. It's awesome. <laughs> the hype train is real. <laughs> yeah. I mean, normally, though, normally I would say, oh my god, you guys should get it, but no, this... I mean, it's for those who really enjoy the game as it is. I'm not telling you to go out and buy it. I'm just telling you that I really enjoy it, and that's what I think. Um, let's see. Oh, I can't. I can't quite hit that guy. That's unfortunate. All right. Uh, but yeah, XCOM 2. So with XCOM 2 coming out in February, that will be a major series going up for my channel. So you guys will be seeing that once I get my hands on it in February, and hopefully I will be able to get some episodes of it up right away as soon as I get to play the game. Um, in regards to XCOM 2, I've actually already started working on a new intro and outro with a buddy of mine. Um, well, intro and outro-wise here, the thing is, intro, uh, I'm using some of, the, some of the old soundtracks from XCOM Enemy Within, uh, so... I won't be able to update, excuse me, update the soundtracks until I get my hands on the XCOM 2 OST. Uh, so I will be reusing some of the XCOM Enemy Unknown Enemy Within soundtracks because honestly they are quite awesome for what they are. Um, but if I feel like I need to update it, I will when the new soundtrack is released. Um, but hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I'm still fiddling around with the details with the intro and outro. I'm not sure how long I want them exactly, or if I want to give them a cinematic feel, or go for a short, sweet punch, punch basically. Um, there's also a XCOM novel that's going to be coming out in November. I actually have that book on pre-order. I can't wait to get my hands on it, because it's supposed to bridge the gap between the XCOM 1 universe in which you lose against the aliens and leads to the events of XCOM 2. Now I'm really excited to see what happens in that novel because, well, I love XCOM, so is there much more I need to say or do I need to keep reiterating my love of XCOM? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, can't wait to see that, but the book itself, this will open up some questions of me of do I want to use a creative canon, as it were, when I set up for XCOM 2. Because as, as some of you know, who, especially those of you who have seen my XCOM, um, XCOM 1 series, you know that I somewhat roleplayed it a little bit as you know the commander of XCOM and all that. And now the question I want to pose to you guys is, for XCOM, 
Capcom 2, when it comes out, do you guys want to see me go full out roleplay? Or should I, you know, be casual, casual Lewis, and roleplay it like I did in XCOM 1? Whereas full on roleplay me would be like, oh, I'm Vander. We need to stop the aliens. Oh, super serious. I'm brooding and all that. Yeah, I, I think I'd prefer you being all casual, like, I'm I mean, the commander, I know what's best. <laughs> well, I'm still gonna pull the I'm the commander, I know what's best line, because that's kind of my thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the thing is, like, I mean, just because I'm full-on roleplay doesn't mean I'm not gonna crack a joke as the commander. I'm still gonna be doing that. But the casual me is more like, I'm more like I'm aware you guys are watching whereas full roleplay I would be like uh, I wouldn't refer to I received uh, some of you guys have been telling me tips on how to play better from the comment section it'll be like more like I've, re I've received intelligence from the resistance community <laughs> etc <laughs> you know that kind of roleplay so leave your comments and uh, message me on what you think I should do for when XCOM 2 rolls around for that. And I'm actually going to take this point to talk about, well, not talk about, but to put you guys on, on the spot a little here by actively recruiting you into my XCOM resistance for XCOM 2. So if you want to join the force, leave a comment in the video or message me. I will be posting links on various videos of XCOM trailers, uh, things that you can look forward to, like the character building, the details into the characters. Tell me what you want for your character, I'll try to make it. And once again, can't promise you that you'll survive, but you'll be in videos, or my videos as some of my troops. So links will be down in the description for XCOM 2. And some old faces may show up, like Jason. Hello. <laughs> Jason doesn't have a choice in the matter. He he's always gonna be there. Jason uh, Jason's a hero. He's a national treasure. It's true. I, I don't need to be put up like some trophy. But you are. <laughs> You're the shining example. Look at his legs. <laughs> uh, these are the these are the strange things that happened. Okay, now I know I saw more of these guys, unless that was the only guy on the rooftops. Hmm, we'll see. On my way. Okay, so did you want to talk about any other series you might be doing, or are doing, but, like, have going on? Uh, well, I mean, there was, I talked about Thomas Was Alone. Gonna be getting more videos of that up soon. I'm almost done with the main game. Uh, someone had meant, I think, yeah, it was Nicole who had mentioned that there was a DLC, uh, so I'm looking into that. Um, let's see, I, I completely blanked on what I was about to say, and I made the wrong move order. Uh, Alright, I'll have to deal with it. Live with my mistake. Um, Thomas was alone, yeah, that's good. That's going to be more of those coming up in the future. Um, I'm going to be doing more Pokemon in my ass when Jason and Mike uh, gets together with me uh, for more recording sessions. Uh, same you goes still got a lot in the backlog, though, so yeah. we're fine. Yeah, I still have a backlog. There's like three episodes, but those will be coming up in the coming upcoming weeks. Um, FTL, more FTL is coming. Once again, same as Pokemon Isles. As soon as all three of us have time, we'll start recording, do a recording session of that. Maybe we'll die horribly in a nebula. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's a running joke. We always seem to, we always seem to die in a nebula. <laughs> I'll plan on making sure that, that happens for you guys. Wink, wink. Yeah. Um, aside from that, that's my current series as of now. Uh, I am working on on a secret video project. It is related to one of my series, or future series. Um, so it is related to my series. So I will be, I'm very excited about it because it's not something I've done before, and I'm really excited about the prospect of how, um, how it will turn out. Again, at the same time, I mean, in my mind, it's amazing. But when I actually do it, it might be like, eh, it was okay, Lewis. You tried. But I really want to give it a shot because it does really sound cool, or at least how I imagine it. And I'm hoping to make that happen. 
Uh, does this character? Yeah, this character has gene mods. Okay. Um, so that's the secret video project. I'm not gonna give you any more than that. You guys can feel free to speculate in the comments section. I know Jason's been speculating for a while now. And like I keep telling him, it's a secret. So well, I am called Shadow. I have to be deceptive. Yeah. <laughs> deceptive Jason is a happy Jason. Indeed. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Heading to that location. Uh, let's Wait, see. What? <laughs> well, I said, "How do you feel about that?" About Ready what? Be a happy Jason is a deceptive Jason. It's the truth. <laughs> okay, so there is enemy movement in there. Um, another future series I have planned is, of course, Doom. When Doom rolls around for release, um, well. As most of you know, and I've mentioned many times on the channel before, Doom is a integral part of my childhood. I had so many fond memories of playing the game. I played all the games, and I absolutely love the Doom games. And the new Doom, I'm very excited for, but at the same time, I have some gripes about it. I mean, that comes to go with most games these days. There's always a little things we want to nitpick. It just doesn't feel right. I mean, obviously, Doom, it's... It's got to catch up to more modern See, mechanics yeah. of games today. Uh, so, like the health system in this case. I like that they incorporated aspects from now. the mod Brutal Doom. The one problem I have with it, though, is that it seems to be very reliant upon using these execution melee moves, as it were, um, to carry these uh, health regens out. Because from what I saw in the minute gameplay video, you need to execute or blow up stuff to get health back. Now, I understand this could be a thing that could Looks explain like away if it were like, you are a marine, but you have some sort of hell-like essence that allows you to steal the life essence of demons. <laughs> uh, there's other little gripes like the plasma rifle. The plasma rifle is a staple favorite gun of mine since the original Doom. I just love the powerful feel to it. But now when I see the plasma rifle, it, it feels like a pew pew gun. Like, it's a pew pew gun. It doesn't sound powerful, it's just pew pew. <laughs> pew pew. Pew pew. Um, and, you know, I have gripes with that because plasma gun is one of my favorite. Or I should say the plasma gun because of Doom repercussions of evil, the meme. I love that meme. Go loud. Uh, so I will be leaving links to all various videos. There are sectoids in there. Did not expect that. No one suspects the sectoid inquisition. Uh, but yes, like I was saying, I will be leaving all relevant links in the description below for the Doom videos. Uh, let's see. What else is on my list of to do? Uh, there is uh, some FAQ questions here. I will be answering some questions I've been getting from you guys over the last few months. So I will be happy to answer some of these questions once I organize my thoughts. Uh, let's see. Actually, I forgot to pull them up on my second monitor. I really should have done this beforehand. It's all right. I'm, I'm going to kill some okay. time while you do that. Okay, okay. go ahead, Jason. So, like. Since he's talking about his series, I figure I'd go and talk about my series because we kind of did that yesterday before before we had to scrap the whole recording. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what I've got going on now, my first series, I've got um, Pokemon, a, a Nuzlocke in front of a Pokemon yeah, Emerald, which is my, by far my favorite Pokemon game that I have, and I've had a lot of fun doing practice runs of it. I figured, why not record it? So. I've also, uh, next up I've got Fire Emblem 12, Heroes of Light and Shadow. That's actually a Japanese only released game that was fan translated into English. That I had members of a roleplay group that I was part of vote on to decide which game that I played and recorded. So you guys can enjoy that. Uh, there's also Super Mario 64, which as Lewis mentioned, he does code commentary with me on. Um, basically, since Yoshi's my favorite character in the Super Mario series, I've been trying to go as much as possible playing with just him, but sometimes it can't be helped and you need to play as certain characters for certain levels, because there's four playable characters, Yoshi, Mario, Wario, and Luigi. And at the moment, I've only rescued Mario, but I'll be rescuing Luigi 
fairly soon. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've and my last series I've got going on is uh, oh yeah, The Legend of Zelda: The Minish Cap with my good friend Brandon that I know in real life. I've actually I'm a big fan of The Legend of Zelda games, but the only ones I've played are Ocarina of Time, Jora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, and Link to the Past. I've never actually played the Minish Cap, so he's he kind of offered to do co-commentary with me and kind of just serve as my guide as I'm playing through it. So it's been a really cool, entertaining series because we both have like a, an array of different goofy voices that everyone <laughs> seems to enjoy. I love the voices. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, as for like future series, uh. I've been playing some Hearthstone with friends of mine like Lewis and Brandon. Um, oh, yeah. and more Hearthstone video series, of course. Right, more Hearthstone videos. Um, but yeah, my my channel's mostly become like an RPG sort of channel, and like also oh, yeah. like a little bit of like competitive card games. But that'll be like toward the future when I start uploading stuff like Hearthstone. But you guys will see that soon enough. <laughs> yep, some more of those on the way. All right, I finally pulled up the questions from both Facebook and my uh, channel email here. So I will be reading some of the questions you guys have been sending me. I did this yesterday, but I did end up missing uh, one question that was on my Facebook. So sorry about that. But you guys didn't see that video anyway, so I don't know why I'm apologizing. But here we I go. I did. I'm judging you. Yeah, Jason silently judging me. The shame. <laughs> All right, so the first question here. Uh, is from Sam. Uh, so we can automatically skip this question since it's Sam. No, I'm just kidding, Sam. <laughs> anyway, so Sam's question is, Lewis, are you excited for Doom? Awesome. Sam, how long have you known me? <laughs> yes, of course I'm excited for Doom. <laughs> I was like, I mean, once, I, once again, I have my gripes with the Doom from what I, what I see so far. I really hope it's not the final version because um, if it is, there, it leaves much to be desired, but otherwise it looks fantastic, so I cannot wait. But we will have to wait and see. Um, so yeah, really excited, can't wait to play it. Uh, I will be doing videos on it, of course, because um, I would love to do Doom videos, for one, because Doom is one of my favorite games. Uh, so much Doom, I've never played it. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a first-person shooter, and, well... By its nature, yeah, very, they're, they're not really my thing. Yeah, I know. I know FPS isn't really your thing. Target has been neutralized. Uh, so the next question comes from Daedra. Hi, Daedra. Sentai has noticed you, and right now she's probably squealing. Anyway, her question is: When I X noticed you, too. yeah, when XCOM 2 comes out, can I be a part of your XCOM series? Also, notice me, Sentai. Well, I noticed you, Daedra, and of course you can be a part of the XCOM forces. Um, once again, I will be leaving links to various uh, videos for XCOM 2, one of them being the Welcome to the Avenger trailer, which also has a segment of character creation and some of the details you can customize per your character. So feel free to take a look at that. Let me know what interests you the most about it, and, I can and I'll try to make it happen. Uh, now, the next question comes from Dingleberry443. I made this joke yesterday while I was reading your name, but while I was reading your name in my head, I had read it wrong, and I had read it as Dinkleberg. So the whole time I was going, Dinkleberg. Dinkleberg. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah. Your question, Dingle, was, well, I shouldn't start off. It's not a question first off, but hey, Lewis, love your videos. Keep up the great work. Can you give my buddy Kyle a shout out? <laughs> of course, I could give your buddy Kyle a shout out. Hey, Kyle, this is Lewis from Reaping Harvest Games. I am waving my hands around for some reason in front of my monitor, even though you can't see me. So <laughs> uh, I'm weird. You're also, you're also getting a shout out from Shadow and Ninety One, aka Jason. Yep, gotta have the Jason. I'm waving my hands around too, but in sign language. <laughs> of course. Uh, let's see. The next. 
uh, question. Uh, I actually figured it out from yesterday. It's actually an Arabic script. I can't actually read Arabic script, so I'm sorry I can't read your name, but I think you know who you are. Um, hey, Lewis, how long have you been doing YouTube? Um, as Jason mentioned earlier in the video, I've been doing YouTube for close to about three years now. Um, there's something about YouTube that I really enjoy because it allows me to be creative as well as share some of the things that I really enjoy, like these videos on the games I play. And that kind of thing I really love. Not to mention, when I first started uh, YouTube, of course, uh, I started with XCOM Enemy Unknown, which led to XCOM Enemy Within, which allowed me a connection to you guys as I named some of my viewers after the soldiers. So when somebody got hurt, I was extremely concerned because like, no, I can't have you die. They need to survive. <laughs> And so I always worried about that. But that's the great thing about uh, me doing YouTube because I get to do something I enjoy. I get to share it with people who uh, have roughly the same uh, same capacity of enjoying the game I, I'm playing in the video. And like I said many times when I first started YouTube, uh, after I actually started getting started YouTube. Well, no, I shouldn't say I didn't start. I didn't start YouTube, obviously. Uh, <laughs> I started doing YouTube after my buddy JP had stopped doing YouTube videos because I helped him with a lot of his videos, doing things on his channel. But eventually, he was very busy with school and all that, so he had to stop doing YouTube for a time. So that's when I started my channel. And um, like I said, it's really about entertaining you guys the best I can. Um, and you, so far, I seem to be doing that well, because as long as I can make you guys smile and laugh, then, you know, all the recording, the issues I have sometimes with recordings, like I mentioned in the videos, uh, the editing, the rendering, the uploading, all that, uh, dealing with YouTube and every now and then copyright notices, it's all worth it when I know that you guys are enjoying it. And I'm pretty sure yeah. that Jason has uh, some of the same sentiments along the same lines. Uh, but I'll let right. Jason speak like, for himself there. Like, I've been, I've been doing YouTube for about three months now. And, like, back in high school, like, I had always wanted to take all sorts of classes where I could be creative. Because, like, the way I see it is that, like, if you're not being yourself and you can't be creative, then you're not really being you. And that's just kind of my motto and how I live by things. Now, like, what first did in high school was I would draw, I would do art, I would do all sorts of things. Like I do, I did ceramics, I did drawing, I did painting, I did all sorts of things when involving art. And then I kind of got bored of it. So my next step was to move on to writing because I really enjoyed writing, you know, poetry and stories and being able to like role play and stuff. So I did that, and I realized how tedious it was. So, I kind of grew bored of that, too. And then after high school, I kind of grew more, more interested in acting and voice acting. And because I've already been a part of, like, role-playing communities and such, it's always been something I wanted to do. I've wanted to always, like, express myself. Like, And voice acting's been a huge hobby of mine for the past couple of years. But I've been too shy to, like, and too, like outspoken and reserved to actually express myself like conveniently <laughs> so in my videos i tend to like i'll do narration like of characters and i will do them in different funny voices and that's <laughs> kind of <laughs> what led up to my channel was me doing commentary on my friends like lewis's channel and phoenix's channel like i did all sorts of different voice work for them for characters that they would have in their games. They seem to have acquired a vast array of technology. Yeah. And it's like, like Jason said, like, and I've said in several of my vlogs in the past, it's like, just when you're doing something, don't let others uh, color your judgment that you're doing something that they don't necessarily enjoy. If you enjoy it, do it. Because that's what you enjoy. And you shouldn't let anybody judge you for it. Just be yourself. Um, like me doing the Shia LaBeouf thing. Yeah, Shia LaBeouf. Just do it. Wise words from Shia LaBeouf here. Make your dreams come true. <laughs> anyway, so... Do the, it. So, I hope... Well, I mean, to a simple question, I hope that 
long answer from the both of us uh, gave you an idea of why we love doing YouTube. Uh, so, yeah. the next question comes from Nicole. It's actually been a while since I've seen Nicole on some of my videos, but glad to see that she's still around. Hey, Nicole, how you been? <laughs> we miss you. Yeah. All right, so, There's your Nicole's message is, Hey, Lewis, it's been a while since I've watched your videos. Glad to see you're going strong with the videos. Saw that you're getting closer to 100 subs. Looking forward to what you are going to do for your 100 subscribers milestone. <laughs> Here's the thing, Nicole. I actually have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm, I'm going to answer that one like I did yesterday. Okay, go for it. All right. So basically, he doesn't really have a clue what he's going to be doing for his 100 subscriber milestone. However, with mine, since I'm at 24 subscribers right now and I only need one more, I've had a lot of ideas about what I want to do for my 25 subscriber milestone. <laughs> and I think you guys are going to be happy about it because I'm going to be playing something that I love while doing a very awkward vlog. But <laughs> you guys will see that. <laughs> Uh, I can't wait to see what you come up with for your little milestone. I can't wait. Uh, let's see, yeah. next message comes from Raynor. Jim Raynor? Where's my legacy of the void, Jim? Anyway, so, Raynor says, Found your channel through your Hearthstone videos. Love seeing you salty when you lose to Jason. Keep up the great work, Lewis. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you enjoy seeing thanks me salty. For the, <laughs> thanks for the love, Raynor. Love you too. <laughs> Yeah, be sure to check out uh, Jason's channel too, because he's going to be doing Hearthstone videos on his end from Damn, his point of view, not only with me, yep. but with his own friends as well. Uh, let's yep. see. Now, this is actually a message that was on my Facebook, uh, but I forgot to check my Facebook yesterday while I was doing the previous recording that had actually failed. Uh, this one is from Amanda Reynolds. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes, you recently subscribed. I I remember you, Amanda. It's like, hi, Lewis. Thanks for all the videos you make. Been going through a rough breakup recently, and your videos have been helping me through it. Especially love the moments where you are being serious, and then there's a random outburst of you being goofy. Makes me laugh every time. Glad I found your channel. Keep up the great work. Aw. Well, thank you, Amanda. And I'm sorry to hear that you're going through a rough time. Um, I can understand that. I recently went through a breakup a few months ago, so I'm getting through it as well, but letting you know, you're not alone. You'll get through it. So hey, just keep that in I, mind. I've been there. I mean, yeah. I've been through that. Like, I'm probably going to be like going over it in my awkward vlog. I do that. Like, because I've been thinking long and hard about actually sharing long my story because <laughs> I've had people tell me how powerful it is. Yeah, I'm, I mean, you have it. you have been going through a lot. If I mean, from like I said many times, Jason's a really good friend of mine. Um, he goes through quite a lot in his own life, and if you guys know the things that, some of the things that Jason's gone through, you'll see that he's a really strong person for it, because if I went through half of the things that Jason has gone through, I don't know if I could be who I am right now. And, right. You know, he's a really great guy, so guys, definitely, if you check him out, show him some support, show him love, the same support you guys have been showing me the last few years. And right. Like, 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 let's just put it that way. Like, let's just say that's kind of why I'm so I'm quiet and not as outspoken is because of past events. Yeah. I actually. But what? I've been trying to get better. What? I I don't have sight lines. What? That makes no sense. I'm standing in the doorway. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, but Nicole. I forgot to bring this up uh, because Jason talked about it a little bit. I actually don't have an idea of what to do for a 100 subscriber milestone video. I'll try to come up with something, I don't know, maybe it'll, maybe it'll be me being weird. I don't know, that's not exactly news. <laughs> yeah, he, he tends to discuss like his plans and such with me because I'm a fellow YouTuber now, so he can do that. Yay, hooray for yup tubs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the rest of the video will be just us. I mean, I pretty much talked about everything I want to talk about. Um, so, the pretty much the rest of the video will just be me and Jason talking. Approaching hostile I hope target. I punched the right way. Oh, punched the right way. Oh, okay, I punched it, but it didn't kill it. That's unfortunate. Um, oh, man, I am drawing a blank all of a sudden. What was I saying? Affirmative. 
uh, you want you wanted to do random banter now? Oh yeah, it's just we yeah, went over I've, everything. I've, yeah, like I said, I've pretty much gone over everything I wanted to say at the moment. Uh, once again, all links to the various things I will be doing, uh, as well as to give you an idea of what I'm planning, will be in the, the description down below. So feel free to check that out, guys. Also, uh, for those of you who like, in regards to my XCon my future XCOM series. If you want to join up with that, leave me a comment in this video so that I can keep everything organized and in one place because it helps me out a lot. Uh, did, I, did I attack with my assault yet? No, I did not. Okay, so I'll have to figure something out. Don't have run and gun. I have lightning reflexes. Okay. And yeah, so just if you have a comment uh, or just email me directly, you guys are always free to do that. Uh, let Just let me know what you guys want me to do uh, in regards to the whole me being serious for the roleplay thing. Let me know if you want me going full on serious commander, I know what's best, or just casual okay. Lewis commander, which is, I'm still aware that it's a video and all that sort of thing. Just <laughs> casual, man. Casual. Okay, let's see. Well, uh, what about you? You are a sentry. Might as well take you out. Okay, we still got one guy left. Ah, so Jason, how was yeah. your day? Doing pretty good, man. I think oh. I got a new job. Yes, I'm really glad. You know when yeah, you, you know, when you texted me that last night, I was really happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's. See. I have, I have, I have too many abilities. It's not even on my hotkey list anymore. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, I'll I'll obviously like once I hit that lovely milestone, I'll talk more about me because this isn't actually my video. So. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was like, I, I wanted to do a lot of plugging on for your channel. Hey, my, oh, yeah, my Mac finally got an Overwatch shot off. Good. Um, it's like, you deserve it, man. You deserve oh, it. You do. Um, as for me, I think I'm at, like, 94 subscribers right now. I don't expect to hit 100 anytime too soon. Probably give it, like, another two Whoa. months or so before I actually get there. Because, uh, you know, it's a busy time. Exams and all that. So, I understand if people are busy. Oh, God. He's going for a flank. Nope. He used up all his moves. Okay, good. I lucked out. Yeah, you're at 94. 94 what? Oh yeah, I'm a subscriber. Subs. Yeah. I thought you said I had a 94% shot. I was like, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, clo I closed the screen share out for a sec. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mm, Athena still needs to reload. Moving out. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Oh, you played scissors. In close. Oh, too bad. You lose. <laughs> you get a knuckle sandwich. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckles to the kid in a sandwich? Yeah. So for you, this is kind of an example for you guys, actually. This is kind of like casual me. It's like making these random jokes. Wow. Doing a mission. That's the kind of casual Lewis. Another one. Welcome. And me, I'll just do random banter and commentary. It's always glad. It's bad, bad. English. It's always good to have random banter, though. Yeah. It's good for your soul. Your soul. Except when, mine. except when you have too much of it. Cough, cough. Prison architect. Oh come on! Prison architect was fun. It was terrible. I'm sorry, guys. That ep <laughs> that series was terrible. <laughs> I thought it was fun. <laughs> I th I'm sorry. You, <laughs> you know, I do. You were playing I do get it. I was sitting there time. looking at a screen. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I didn't know what was going on. And it's like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, we're at we're the prison. I was expecting a lot of prison bathroom jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then it's like some sort of YouTube porn and be like, no. No. Oh wow, there's still a lot of them. I actually think this this video is gonna be probably longer than our original one. It is. Because <laughs> uh, 
Mostly because I'm meandering about. Meander. Meander, meander. Oh yeah, how's your po uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke going? My Pokemon Nuzlocke's going pretty good. I gotta record some more episodes soon though, cause I have to... I, I uploaded part 12 on Sunday, I think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, on Sunday. Uh, so my next one will be next Tuesday, and that'll be all I have for my backlog, so I need to record more episodes. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get more soon. So good, man. I mean, I got Saudi and Lady Goopington. Yeah. I, I, I mean, rip Saudi. So, so he's gonna die. Oh, no. <laughs> no, Saudi. <laughs> that, that, that's usually my luck. Like, I catch a new Pokemon. Like, like when I caught Poochiana and he died. Either, <laughs> or, I'm sorry, she died the same episode. And then oh. I catch Nummel, and then she dies the next episode. Yeah, <laughs> it's always tragic when you're dealing with Nuzlocke, though. Yeah. Well, y you'll, you guys will completely understand why, like, it was completely unfair that I lost my Nummel. <laughs> but you guys will see it soon enough. Well, we'll have to see, shall we? Hint, hint, self-destruct sucks. <laughs> uh, my Psy attacks are not working. Coughing's the coughing is the worst. He's the Nuzlocke killer. <laughs> Did he self destruct? Yeah. Ah, uh, you gotta. I'm hate like that. I'm doing a doubles battle. I need experience for my Nummel, so I'm like <laughs> Nummel and Aran go, and uh, Aran takes like no damage because he's four times resistant. <laughs> <laughs> and Nummel's just like I have full health. I'm now dead. <laughs> That seems like Nummel. <laughs> Nummel's just there, like, oh, I'm going to die. Bye. Oh, well, it's fine. I mean, I, I have Lady Goopington who can sit there and tank hits and use Minimize, so. Yeah. And use Poison. That Minimize, though. You gotta love it. Alright. Which is weird, because I've never actually used a Grimer or a Muck. It's actually really good. Once you, like, once you got the Minimize tactic going, you, they're just basically unhittable, then you can just harass them the whole time. Oh yeah, it's even more obnoxious in Gen 6 now, but I, I mean, do you guys, do you, hold on, do you guys really want to hear me go on a Pokemon rant? Go for it. <laughs> People love it. People love right, salty so, rants. Alright, so like, Gen 6 muck. Okay, it's still got the minimized tactics, and you could have it sit there and hold the item called Black Sludge. Oh no. Which which heals poison type Pokemon, but damages <laughs> others. So you have it sit there and basically tank hits with the uh, Black Sludge. And basically it's got high special defense, so like it's not going to be taking much damage from Psychic moves. Um, but yeah, basically in Gen 6, it has access to a move called Power Up Punch, which has 40 power, and any every time it hits, it, bu it bumps your attack stat up by 1. So it can sit there punching things while it's t it's either taking hits or dodging them, and it just keeps pumping itself up while it's healing. And it's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> gimmick, uh, gimmick strategies for the win. Yeah. Okay, managed to dodge a bullet there with a flank. Yeah, if you guys can't tell, I'm kind of a competitive Pokemon nerd. So it's like Nuzlocke. Nuzlocke's perfect for me. Yeah. And then every time we do Pokemon on my ass, I could just feel like you judging my questionable moves in Pokemon. <laughs> right? I'm constantly judging you. <laughs> Gotta love it. Then you're like, no, I'm the commander, I know it's best. And I'm like, dude, I've been in competitive Pokemon tournaments, like, take my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, that's not good. I didn't know there was a guy up there. They're moving behind me. Oh. I'm all right. No, Reed, don't. Oh, okay, good. He's going for a suppression. I was, <laughs> I was convinced my scout was gonna die. All right. Well, we're just about to wrap it up now. I think. Yeah, I, I still find it pretty funny that. Uh, 
when I was the champion at the one anime convention, the, the guy who was the last challenger actually recorded the video and put it on YouTube. I'm like, ah, like you're recording my loss. Dang it. <laughs> hey. I'm you like, but up, I feel so honored it. at the same time. Exactly. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, is he gonna take out it? Yeah. Ooh, headshot. All that health. It means nothing. Exactly. Now, we just need to get some flanks. Oh, Reed suppressed. No, Reed. Alright, 69. Eh, 69. Uh, I don't got really many good options here. Alright, let's suppress him. Yes, sir. Hold on, before anyone says anything in the comments, LOL, he had 69% chance to hit. There you go, there's your shout out. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I don't doubt it. I know some of you would do that. <laughs> okay, 75. Ah, uh, might as well kill him. I got the hollow targeting off. Pew! Hollow targeting. I got a laser beam. Fire my laser! <laughs> In my ball. <laughs> exactly. All right, Zeus, tank the hit. Moving out. Or was there only one Overwatch? No, there was only one. Okay. Let's see. Zeus needs ammo. He does need ammo. I'm hoping my commanding officer can do something here, and she can't. Oh, how am I going to do this? Athena doesn't have any ammo I believe it. You can do it by believing in the heart of the cards. The heart of the cards. Alright, let's drop down and surprise. I'm right, Kyle, aren't I? He needs to believe in the heart of the cards. No, I'm pretty sure. He, he, <laughs> he needs to make a monster that has attack points one point higher than infinity. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Kyle would just say risk it for the biscuit. Exactly. <laughs> There's your shout out, Kyle. Everybody gets one. <laughs> Alright, and we can finish it off with a shotgun. A shotgun. Shotgun. I'm gonna be home wrecking Don't you with this shotgun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I run outside and I find like 10 more guys and then get totally wrecked. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt that. Long I, I War Impossible Mode has killed so many of my troops. I don't think I'm good at doing the shatter in action. No. <laughs> it's good enough. Alright, we finally finished the mission. We've covered pretty much all the announcements. This has been a really long video. That's why I did not make this a vlog because I knew there was going to be a lot going on. And apparently, my cousin's getting lag from the recording, so it's unfortunate. Oh, well. It's the particles, man. <laughs> it's all that lame. And deal with the flames. There's majestic lame. So. Can't stand the heat, man. Can't stand Get that out of the air. <laughs> uh, uh, all the particles. But the, the amazing particles and the lag is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> anyway, so, so that's going to be pretty much it for the announcement. Vlog, gameplay, co commentary of a Frankenstein of a video for the channel, as well as a kind of like a heads up that I am trying to figure out what to do for a hundred subscriber milestone, as well as a shout out to my buddy Jason and his channel, as well as a almost there congratulations 25 milestone for him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I did it. So, well, I almost did it. Yeah. <laughs> But who knows, maybe it'll happen by the time this video goes... Actually, no, this video is going up today, actually. <laughs> We're doing it live, guys. Doing it live. <laughs> anyway, so, as always, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out Jason's channel, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. See you around.